Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to the Biggs Homestead Kitchen. My name is Cynthia and today I just came from Aldi's. Let's see what I got. I got Tater the Sham Wow. He loves to like snuffle for little treats and stuff. So I thought this would be really cool for him to just has a, have as a snuffle blanket. Here is what I got. My total was $102.42 for everything you see here, which ain't a lot. We'll start out with ice cream. This was $2.19, they were on markdown, and this was $2.19. This is like a knockoff of Cherry Garcia, which is my favorite ice cream in the whole world. Pick that up, $2.49 for the half little whatever this is. It's not a half gallon anymore. But anyway, $7.99 for some cauliflower gluten-free pizza because I'm tired and I didn't want to cook tonight. My in-laws are coming for dinner tomorrow and I thought we would just have sandwiches with chips. So I got sour cream and onions and some barbecue chips, $1.88 each. There's my little chamois towel, $4.99 for tater and $2.99 for these gloves. I tried these gloves. I got a two pack of them. I love them. They're fantastic. So they were on markdown. I got them again. $1.89 for these beefsteak tomatoes. We're gonna have tomato on our sandwiches tomorrow. I got chicken breasts. Look at that. They actually had them $2.69 a pound. Let's not talk about that. But $16.27 and $15.88. I haven't seen chicken breasts in months. So I decided to go ahead and pick them up because I'm gonna can Next them. up is lunch meat. Again, we're just gonna have some sandwiches and whatever's left, I'm gonna probably freeze so it doesn't go bad. $3.79, $6.19 for the salami, but I have been craving salami and I don't know why. I'm just, I just got it, whatever. And $3.79 for that one. Half and half and some dairy topping, whipped topping, $2.39 and $2.95. I'm going to make a dessert, but I don't know what that is yet. $1.69 for lettuce. This was $1.39 two weeks ago, and the heads were bigger. These are kind of smaller, but I'll take what I can get. We're going to have some lettuce on our salads, or lettuce on our sandwiches, and then we're going to have some salads this week. And this was $1.69 for the spinach as well. We'll just throw all this together and make a nice, like, uh, chef salad. Be fast. Okay, coleslaw 159. I thought it would be nice to have some coleslaw with our sandwiches. I got gluten-free bread. Normally I don't buy gluten-free bread anymore, but like I said, your girl's tired. And that was 5.99 and then this was 99 cents. I know I splurged on a lot of extras and some convenience foods, but I was sick last week to the point where I actually missed a day of work. I could not get out of bed. I think it was this BA5 variant that's going around. I was down for about 72 hours. I think they missed each other. <laughs> So that's it. How's the hauls in your area going? Are you notice rising prices? What's missing on the shelf? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to take your comments and shout you out during my live broadcast on a Saturday night. This one's for Mr. B. It definitely has gluten in it, but he doesn't have to be gluten-free. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Let me know in the comments down below. I love Aldi salami so much. I don't know why I've been craving this. Maybe it's the salt, but it is so yummy. I forgot to show you these baby carrots for 95 cents for one pound. I never buy baby carrots, but here's the deal. They had very few two pound bags of carrots and what they did have was super slimy and gross. So I went for the next best option, which was the baby carrots for 95 cents. Do you buy baby carrots? How are you finding produce in your area? Please let me know in the comments down below. I wanna shout you out during a live video where I'm always live Saturdays at eight shouting out my subscribers. And I got six bananas for $1.64. Bananas are up to 57 cents a pound. They used to be 33 cents a pound, not very long ago, about eight weeks, maybe 10 weeks ago. The focus right now is canning proteins, 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 proteins. So any chance I have to stock up on proteins, I am trying to do that once a week. These will be in the canner this weekend. I know that Mr. B loves me so much because he was going to Walmart and I asked him to pick me up some cheese and he got this five pound bag of cheddar cheese at Walmart. Now listen, he did so good. He said, I knew that you would want me to look at the price per ounce, just like you do on all your videos. And this big bag was 17 cents an ounce and the next size up was 24 cents an ounce. So I just went ahead and got you 
five pounds of cheese. And that's how I know that he loves me. We freeze our cheese, so I broke up all of the shredded cheese into one pound bags and ready for the freezer. I'm not counting this cheese in my grocery budget or as part of my $100 haul because Mr. B used some money that he had from flipping a motorcycle to purchase it. There it is, 17 cents an ounce. I got one, two, three, four and a half bags. This is great. These are going in the freezer. We don't eat a whole lot of cheese. We just usually unfreeze it for a second, take out what we need and then freeze it back again. I doctored up that pepperoni pizza with some ham, mushroom, onion, and green pepper. Here's a cute shot of Tater's sweet little face. He is doing great integrating in our family. It's editing me, and I guess I deleted my outro. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, no matter where you roam, you can always find your way back home to the Biggs Homestead Kitchen. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.